everyone, welcome to day nine of the Forks Over Knives Challenge. You okay? Okay. Um, so I am a lot less puffy today than yesterday, but I am still pretty swollen, but not too bad. It's not too bad. So I am going to make a winter vegetable risotto, which I don't know if you can call it winter vegetable risotto because it says to use a medium parsnip, two cups of peeled diced butternut squash, and a medium carrot. And then in the notes below it says, or whatever vegetables you happen to have at home. So I just use whatever vegetables I happen to have at home. So I have some baked veggies here. Got some asparagus, which is one of the things they suggested, and squash, which is the other thing they suggested, and then pepper and some tricolored carrots. Um, so that's what I decided I wanted to put in my vegetable risotto. I think it's going to not only taste good, but be beautiful color-wise. So. There's a couple of steps to this. So you roast your vegetables. This, I'll put the link in the description box below. You roast your vegetables, and then you are supposed to make a liquid broth, which you make that with veggie broth. And I'm going to use this particular one, seeing as there's no oil in that. And it's a mixture of this with some um, dry white wine, which this is only, I just buy the little bottles so we don't drink it, so I'm just using it cooking. So it's, five and a half cups of veggie broth and one half cup of white wine. So that goes in a little pan on the stove till it gets to be simmering and you want to leave that at a really low simmer. That's easy, step one. Um, the second step is you wanna take a chopped up onion and you want to take that and some garlic and saute that in a pan with one cup of arborio rice, which this is the one, I was thinking about this, where's this from? Yeah, that's unfortunate, this is from Texas. I probably shouldn't use this rice. I live in Texas, but I don't think we should eat rice from Texas. Anyways, so this is the rice that I'm going to use. One cup of arborio rice. Um, and you basically put that in the saute pan and you saute it for just a couple of minutes till it says the, the uh, rice starts to toast. Until it doesn't turn brown, that's my opinion. But once it starts doing that, you actually then put in one cup of your liquid at a time until the rice absorbs it all. And then you put another cup and then absorbs it all and put in another cup. So that's how that works. Um, and that usually takes, it says about 20 minutes, which that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. It'll take about 20 minutes and then it'll be nice and creamy. And then at the end, there's one last step and we'll be back to talk about that one in just a minute. All right guys, so let's talk about the last part of this. I'm actually still cooking, but I just added another additional cup of uh, liquid. So it's got a second to think over there. The last set of ingredients are one quarter cup of nutritional yeast. and one half cup of whatever unflavored plant milk it is that you want. And then two tablespoons of tahini. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And one tablespoon of mirin, which, is it one tablespoon? Yep, one tablespoon. Which we actually were at the store this morning and um, there was some of this there. And I was like, oh, I need that for a recipe. I was going to do, it said that you can just um, not use this and you can use uh, dry sherry with a pinch of sugar or even um, more of the white wine with a pinch of sugar so either of those would have been acceptable so this is the last part you mix this together and then this goes in with your vegetables right at the end um, and also sprinkle of black pepper so I'm going to uh, continue cooking the rice put this in at the end and I will see you guys for uh, taste test in just a few minutes. All right guys, so this risotto smells super fantastic. Um, obviously, if you would like a sprinkle, sprinkle of black pepper on there, I did not put that in there yet, but isn't that super, super pretty? Don't know what it tastes like, but it looks great. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what this tastes like. Hmm. That's really good. I wonder why it only got 3.6 stars. That's very tasty. Yay! All right, so this is what I'm going to take with me for food for two meals. 
and then if I'm hungry in the morning, I'll eat something when I get home. No problem. Today, today into tomorrow morning is also a no exercise day, and then I should be able to start exercising again. Not worry about too much blood pumping or whatever it is. So, anyways, this is really good. I would highly recommend making this. I don't know why. I don't know why this only has 3.6 stars because it's fabulous. It tastes great. Maybe because it's labor intensive to make risotto and somebody who was putting the stars on there didn't didn't know that you had to take forever to make risotto. I don't know. Anywho, that's it for me for today, guys. Um, I probably won't see you in the morning because there's really no reason for me to chat with you because I'm not going to be doing exercise. And if I eat anything, it'll be like a bowl of oatmeal, something along those lines. So I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay guys, I know I said I wouldn't see you again until this morning, but I have to tell you that rice dish is awesome. You totally have to make that risotto. I am definitely putting that on the list of two makes again. It was wonderful. So I just wanted to share that. It really was really, really good. So definitely consider making that. It was yummy. Anyway, I'm going to go make some oatmeal with some raisins and applesauce and cinnamon, I think, and have a kiwi because I still have a bunch of kiwi left. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys again tonight.